Aries, welcome to Hagla's Oracle. I am Raven from Arendelle of Norway. Let's do a check upon your general energies. Here's a collective read, so take what resonates, leave everything behind that does not resonate, and do not create. Do not manifest a reality based on what you see here in a possible outcome. It is a possible outcome, so you are hereby warned if you are walking down the pipeline, pipeline that is leading down to the sewer. So let's have a look uh, what is going on with the areas. Okay, give me Heidi well, my dear. Someone here is coming slowly towards you with, with, with some kind of proposition, okay? Some kind of proposition. What kind of proposition is that, my darling? Uh, what is it called? Lenormand. They have a book for you. It is something regarding knowledge. 5, 10. It could also be a job. Something that has to do with the wish fulfillment. Could be a Virgo. money coming in for you all right and yet <sighs> that is so weird there is money coming in but you don't feel like you know there is this commitment here uh, there is something regarding your relationship here that someone does not want to work something is not working out here regarding a relationship I see that there is some spiritual deception here. Some, uh, someone might use spirituality as, a, as a, you know, as as some kind of a lure, or they could be spiritual deceived. That could be you, uh, Arius, who are deceived by a certain mentality within the New Age community. Hmm. Okay. So, someone is not showing off. Someone you might have been waiting for a long time. It might be you that you are giving up on someone, Aquarius. It's an earth sign. And uh, you are done with mind games you're done with mind games hmm. that is interesting what you don't see coming is that this story will gain you some kind of enlightenment you are going through a lot right now areas it could be that many of you are are competing towards a job or something regarding money here but you seem somehow withdrawn there is competition here to be the center of attention and are saying many things that are untrue uh, there is a Scorpio in the mix here there is a Scorpio in the mix here maybe you have Mercury in Scorpio areas that makes you perceive things from a deeper perception than usual. But there is this energy here of I'm done juggling with my coins. I'm done juggling in general. I, I don't feel this is working out. But I'm willing, I'm willing to work on something new. 
it's like a change of course here. You see that something is not working out. It's like some kind of illusion breaking. You discover that you actually have healing properties. It's like you're looking, looking to the stars and see that, you know, there is someone or something here that do not want to let you go because of a heartbreak. And that heartbreak that happened created a calm disturbance in the force. This individual that was involved in this heartbreak is quite toxic or it simply could have been a Capricorn. They were non-committal and uh, I see someone here very smug, uh, pleased with themselves as I am, as I are, uh, overindulging perhaps in alcohol, drugs, some kind of crap. And someone here wants to take a leap of faith and travel fast towards you, Aries, who are coming out here as quite silent these energies are very mixed but regarding love it seems like this is something you want to put behind you due to toxicity and emotional numbness you want to get out of that stagnation here with the four of swords in reverse and face your demons that's not easy there is a burden that is on top of the burden here, but you're letting go of it because you, it's like, I mean, I get the word Kundalini Yoga up here. That for some of you, that, that might be the case. You're done with people who are deceptive. And there is something here, something issues regarding a travel that you need to postpone and you need to make a call regarding that decision. Okay. Something here was not an equal take between you and someone. There is toxicity here regarding what someone is eating, drinking. Uh, some of you need to drink more water and you need to stop waiting for someone here. Three of ones in reverse. There is something here regarding the moon faces that you need to take a look at. something regarding the dark moon regarding a new beginning you need to let go it could be a financial situation there are toxic people also in your energies there you need to change that and you need to withdraw your cup towards someone uh, and it will be okay. You might feel you might fear of being left out in the cold, but it will be okay. Mm. There is something here that needs to be postponed. Why? I see someone here beating you up almost mentally, physically. And, 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 and honestly, this is a very long story. <laughs> this is a very long story. Um, I suppose I will have to give you an oracle card. And um, when that's said, do not wait for anything. But all this suffering serves a purpose. There is a... There is a sacrifice here regarding a child, maybe. Not child sacrifice, but a sacrifice that we need to do for our children, okay? 
you could have lost a child uh, regarding, uh, you know, someone took your child away. <sighs> There's something here regarding the full moon and something regarding the black moon. Okay. It seems like all the strength have been taken away from you, Aries, and it's now time to charge it. Yeah, you will have luck on your side regarding a property, regarding equal give and take. And we need to give you a couple of oracle cards. We can, that was like a brutal read, but I know you can take it, Arius, you're badass. Hmm. Animals, maybe you are one of those who love animals. If that's the case, welcome to the club. There is something regarding your situation that is crippled. You need to take a look at that and do not surround yourself with bonsai trees. If you study feng shui, the Chinese feng shui, you would know why, but they are very pretty. And there is something here regarding baggage that you need to lose areas and be happy. You might feel I have no reason to be happy, but tune into that vibration. I could tell you so much about happiness, but I so I, I believe you could tell me also a lot about happiness areas. You are the most optimistic, positive people in the entire zodiac. So I love you so much, Arius. Remember, you are warriors. 